So there's AI augmentation now. It'll pop up a window on the side of your screen and it'll tell you what to say and how to say it. So imagine you open up a Zoom call and you start talking to the prospect. So for so far, we have talked about the machine, but the machine works with the, with the human. So what it is, if any, the change in mindset that the salesperson needs to make and how do they adjust to this new, new world in order for the machine and the person to become a team and work together in a way that they're more effective? That's a whole, whole nother interesting topic because now that you've got AI that can help you bring a, a lead down further down the funnel to a qualified opportunity, well now when it's time to meet with the prospect, what am I gonna say and how am I gonna say it? So there's AI augmentation now. It'll pop up a window on the side of your screen and it'll tell you what to say and how to say it. So imagine you open up a Zoom call and you start talking to the prospect and it prompts you as the seller what questions to ask. So you start, to, you know, you'd start your normal discovery questions, but instead of just winging it, which most salespeople do, by the way, now they've got an AI augmented guide on the right hand side that says, oh, so maybe they're following the Keenan uh, gap selling process. Well, guess what? Keenan's philosophy will be fully programmed into the side of the window. So it might say, so tell me about uh, your current situation of what you're doing there at the company. Great. And um, what's broken with it? Well, we spend a million dollars and we think we should be spending 500. Oh, what's the impact if you could save 500,000? Every time I ask the right question, it highlights in green word for word and moves on to the next one. And then at the end celebrates that the salesperson has actually followed the proper question. The champagne bottle becomes uncorked. Boom, nice work, you just did a good job. This is a partnership with a company we have called Balto Software. And we are going to be rolling out Balto to dozens of our customers over the course of the next six months. Do you think the person will adjust to this type of technology easily? I did a call with uh, Jacob, the CEO of Your Sales earlier in the in the day and we talked about it and we said hey who makes it and who doesn't in this new world that we live in where a lot of your work is inside sales and he said some people just have the skills and some don't luckily for people like me who've been in inside sales for the last 15 years of my sales career it's nothing new but what's new is that now everybody needs to learn how to sell from an inside sales situation and AI will help you do it better, faster, cheaper. So if you come back here two years from now, what will that change it? And in three years, I can only imagine. I mean, there's ski boots that tell you when to edge and how to be a better skier. There's another one called athletes.ai. You can upload your tennis video for free up to two hours and they'll come back and the AI will analyze how good of a tennis player you are. So pretty soon, Keenan's an amazing seller. Well, so is Gerhard. And so are all these other people, Mark Hunter. You'll be able to program Mark Hunter into the AI and Mark Hunter's philosophy and any sales rep will be able to leverage and follow their thought process in real time communication. We, that's why this picture behind me, it's where we're headed. Uh, I don't think we'll all be chipped like the uh, global conspiracy theorists are saying uh, because I certainly am not planning to put a chip inside of my body, but I think we'll be very close to that <laughs> with our watches and our telephones. <laughs> AI and ethics are two words that I don't know are congruent yet. And I think companies are going to need to hire ethics officers to make sure that there's somebody that has oversight on, on all of it. You're seeing it in politics and ads and, you know, Facebook pulling down people's freedom of speech. Well, who make who gets to make those decisions, right? That's, those are important questions as this gets rolled out that we need to address.